In Affinity Designer, how to create a colourful cut design like this, a mosaic design, stained glass like design. Well, you can use any shape. Now I've got obviously here a star, so just remove that. And I can go over here and again create another star. This is going to be the start point. And you can also set the fill, also set different strokes, or maybe set it back down to nothing. But what you can then do is maybe go up here, layer, and I would suggest go and create a shadow because it gives a bit of depth to it. Just start right at the beginning, but you can always create this later if you want. But click effects and go with outer shadow. Make certain that's highlighted and then set it about halfway and close. Now with the move tool selected over here, you can now press return or enter on the keyboard like that. And what you can then do is you can go here to duplicates and also number of copies. Go for say eight or nine or 12, up to you. And you can also then go for some rotation. So just let's just change that, maybe four. You don't have to go. So if you want to keep it looking like a star-ish, like, you know, you, you can push it too far, it then ends up more circular design. So I'm going rotation four, but also you can go for scale. So you don't have to keep it. You can see by doing that, you can get a lovely effect just scaling in like that. 86% or whatever, and click OK. To use the knife tool, you need to have the path selected or curve selected. You can, of course, select them this way, just simply select them and like that. But a great quick option, go to select and select all on current layer. Just use that and they're all selected. You can also use the shortcut of command or control, command slash control, depending on what system you are, plus the shift, plus A. Then the knife tool, press K on the keyboard. There's all of them selected. And now you can apply it. And you can see you've got some options. I'm gonna go for a straight line. So here's the straight line setting, set on. And also hold down the shift, so it will be applied straight down like that. And you can repeat that multiple times. Now you'll notice, as I do it, some of the curves are no longer selected. You can select them all again at any point simply by using exactly the same command as before in the select menu. And you can do that and create as, mon as many as you want. Again, command or control, shift and then A and they're all selected again. And you can then repeat it horizontally this time. Again, hold down the shift, draw a straight line. Unfortunately, again, some are no longer selected. That's an unfortunate feature of the knife tool. You can quickly use that shortcut and they're all selected again. And shift and create another line. And just repeat that. Again, exactly the same as before. And then shift and drag across. The knife tool cuts it again and again. And again, you could at any time use select all on current layer. So it's all selected and then just repeat it like that. And again, do exactly the same. Select, selection all on current layer and just drag across like that. Well, now what you've got, lots and lots of curves. You can see if you go over here, all different shapes and designs, but because you've got that, obviously that shadow gives a bit of depth to it. If you didn't have that, I don't think, well, it's up to you, of course, what you do. But then what you can do is you can select them, just go to the move tool and select individual ones if you want. It's a great way of doing it, just select them or use the layers panel to select, and then just go to the swatches and then click a color. So something like green. But also what you can do is, you don't have to have any, any of them selected. Just go over here and just use this tool, the Vector Flood Fill tool. So select that, then go over here to Swatches, and then just change, just click. And you don't have them selected, and they're not selected afterwards either. And you can simply just go through this and apply it multiple times. Try and avoid, obviously, going blue against the blue, but you might want that. And then I'm going with red, and you can see as I do that, I can create all kinds of different colorful designs by just going through this. And of course you could have done maybe a hundred different cuts, maybe make it really fragmented. Doesn't have to be obviously only five or 10 cuts as I did. And then maybe go with that blue and you can then see, apply that and you can go through it. Maybe go for green there, some down there, some yellows, click there. 
and so on. You can see you can build up all kinds of different designs simply by doing that. Also, what you can do is you might decide, you know what? Use the move tool, make sure they're all selected, or again, you select, select all on current layer. Then go over here to layers and go to effects, click there. And then you could go for, say, 3D, so you could apply it later to create a nice sort of padded effect as well. And then close. Another option, go over here, select the rectangle tool or any of these shape tools. And this could be used with any shape, so maybe a rectangle as well. And with that, you can see then you've got the stroke setting there. So just click here and then maybe change the color, but also click here and maybe change the width. So you can see as you do that, and depending on the setting here, you can maybe make it a solid at four points, or maybe go for dashes, or maybe use brushes. A number of options there. Also, move tool, select that, and then you can always select individual ones and maybe say, you know what, I want to frank, fragment them a bit. So simply select them just quickly, randomly. Unfortunately, there's no sort of transform random feature in Affinity Photo or Designer. It would be nice if there was, but that is one feature they seem to have left off, the transforms. And if you know of a way of doing it, just randomizing the position, because I quite like just simply doing it, but you can do it manually. It doesn't take long, just simply select individual ones like that, either in the layers or using the move tool. And you can then break it apart like that to create still a star design, but it's a more fragmented star design. And of course you can then manipulate the individual parts. It's a curve, just simply go over here to the node tool and manipulate the nodes as well as maybe go with different stroke settings, maybe different bevels, different various other settings as well. You can also fill it with gradients is another option or pattern designs. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.